oxygen for what? <laughs> well, just, uh, you know, if you're at high altitude, say 10,000 feet and you're cooking. So it's like your own oxygen bar then, huh? Kind of, like <laughs> that, yeah. So this is like your ultimate doomsday RV. I'd uh, say it's uh, pretty close. <laughs> okay. You know, I mean, why do you buy insurance, you know? Well, it's just like uh, having all this stuff is just insurance. This is the, the biggest that I know of electrified coach in the world at the moment. 10,000 watts of solar, 108,000 watt hours of storage. So that's like 9,000 amp hours of energy. Plug it's in. not like your RV park type RV though. <laughs> this, is, this is those that see the RV experiences getting off, getting away, truly going somewhere, but have all the amenities and comforts all contained in one vehicle. Got 500 and some gallons of wa fresh water. Uh, it's got another what, 550 gallons of wastewater storage. This thing can go for a month before you need to go get water. And this is the spacecraft. This is this is the mothership. All right. And they've got dispatchable landing craft. It's the whole thing. It's awesome. You know what? It'd be kind of cool. This thing could go to Mars, right? This would be awesome. <laughs> can you put a price on it? Will you say the price? So this one. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. We are back at the Florida RV Super Show and I've got uh, another just really incredible, awesome RV tour. I'm joined by Jack uh, from Volta Systems. Great to see you again, good Jack. To see you, Tom. Thanks for having me. And Bye -bye. we've got Greg from Spacecraft Manufacturing. You betcha. And we have done a tour of Spacecraft before, but this tour even takes that last year's RV just like beyond Space. there's a lot more technology <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i mean there is so many cool things about this rv so we are gonna just jump right into it let's maybe talk about uh what's on top what's on the roof of this so on top we've got uh 10, watts of solar um with the uh, actuated panels that come out so it basically doubles the surface area of the roof uh, we used every inch that we could up there. Uh, the other stuff that's up there is uh, Starlink uh, Wi-Fi dish, one of the in-motion ones. Okay. Uh, we've got mini split systems, uh, max air fans, um, some uh, some vents, and then everything else is solar. Wow. So yes, you heard that right. Ten thousand exactly, or give or take a few. Or? We've got two more panels to put on, so we'll be at ten when we get done. Okay. We, we kind of figured out that we may not need more. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to wear down the batteries, you said, yes. and it's, it's not. It's not really 80 yeah, degrees in here, is it? That's the heated floor. We're trying to run the battery down. Uh, okay. We've got the AC on and the heated floors. <laughs> okay. Kind of fighting each other then? <laughs> well, you're drawing 5,000 watts of power. Continue to show them. Yeah, we're going to pass already. already. Yeah. So there, it just adds. It's been all day. <laughs> Five thousand yep. watts that's, that's of power design process. Continuous. Continuous. I'm pretty sure our solar shut off about one. All day, we had the air conditioning running, the heated tile floors going, so trying to offset so everything's running all the time, and we still couldn't get away from solar. Couldn't get off 100 percent. Wow. Take that all day. we're going to take a look at the batteries here, but I just want to reiterate. 10,000 watts. I mean, this is the largest by far that we've ever toured before by another several thousand watts. But another RV with wings that's super cool. Uh, well, Jack, show me uh, you know, what you got storing all of this power. Well, you got all that 10,000 watts. It's got to go somewhere. Yeah. So you got 10,000 watts on the, on the roof, right? So that's 10,000 watts of max power coming in. It's got to go. You got to fill something up. Well, we're taking care of that with 108 thousand watt hours of storage that would be if you did it in 12 volt again we are revolta runs at higher voltage we're at 51 volts nominal but if you did that in 12 volt world that's like nine thousand amp hours of energy if wow. you think old world traditional rv so if you take a look down here you will see four of our largest packs they're 27 kilowatt hours each and those four are in parallel giving a total of 108 and some change of total storage. 
uh, coupled with about 10,000 watts of 240 volts uh, continuous uh, pure sign inverter power. So this vehicle runs on 240 volt split phase all the time. And that enables the amazing LG mini splits that the spacecraft team has integrated, which are two, two times plus the efficiency of a traditional RV air conditioner, but with no noise. Silent. Oh, love it's the mini splits. Awesome. And we've got what, 20, yeah, 27 hours of runtime with the mini splits? Yep. In a traditional setup with the other ones, we'd only get 12 hours of runtime with the same air conditioning. It's pretty amazing. Cool. And it's all because we've got the, the power and the storage to be able to power those type of uh, appliances, and it's all in one RV. So it's truly a spacecraft. I mean, I was telling the teams earlier, I was like, you know what? It'd be cool. cool. This thing could go to Mars, right? This would be awesome. <laughs> it's got enough power it's for that. It's got power. It's got 500 and some gallons of water, fresh water. And it's got another what, 550 gallons of wastewater storage. Uh, I mean, this thing could go for a month before you need to go get water. And it's still going to be water as you're going to be your shortfall. So Wow. Uh, and they designed the truck to carry water, potable water, and remove water. So the truck can do the work if they, they don't even have to unpack the system. Uh, so the truck is like a hunting wagon then? You can, and, yes. and power generation. Oh, man, that's we awesome. We have uh, power on it too. It's, it's a pretty amazing system. For more epic RV tours like this one, make sure you smash that subscribe button or you can scan this QR code right over here with your smartphone and you can get subscribed for the next RV tour video. Let's get back into it. Greg, what is the model number for this, or do you have model numbers? We really don't have model numbers because okay. each one is unique. Um, we'll put it up on the website. It's like 54062 or something like that. Okay. Um, the way that we do things is every time we do a new design with the customer, whatever the length, this is a 54-foot semi, and then whatever the next number is uh, that we haven't designed before. So the next one after this would be 63. Uh, that kind of a thing so uh yeah it's we, we typically don't do more than one of anything that we build unless it's for hollywood and they are ordering you know 10 or 12 of them and then they would all be the same and i don't suppose the truck is nearby nope the truck's back in kansas city it's okay. gonna get uh, paint integrated with it um, as part of the paint process this one we weren't able to get painted for the show we had to choose paint or solar and we chose solar uh but the the design's pretty cool and then the truck's going to be integrated with it and then there's some integration also with the truck jack mentioned the power uh, the water um, and a couple of other things camera systems uh, will all get integrated with that prior to delivery so what color is it going to end up being it's going to be mostly black uh, with some gold um, and gray which when we go inside that will make a lot of sense okay um, so they're kind of tying everything together and then they're going to match some of the paint on the truck with the trailer as well so it's kind of tying the whole unit together part of our custom process is giving a customer those options and how many slides this one has five uh, typically for this length we'd probably do six or seven but the rear garage um, is a, a lift instead of slide so it's kind of a vertical slide instead of horizontal slides okay so it's like a toy hauler it is a toy well, hauler. Well, it's a car hauler. It's an EV hauler. It's actually okay. set up to charge. It's a Polestar. Yep. Uh, the Audi um, electric vehicle, the Polestar 2. And wow. so it's EV set up for EV charges. So they're going to put the Polestar in. You've got 108 kilowatt hours there. That unit has, what, 86 kilowatt hours on the Polestar? Mm -hmm. Or is it 76? Uh, uh, I, I can't remember. remember. 70 to 80 kilowatt hours. But they should be able to charge the car. Completely. So they're going to be able to charge the car and then regenerate. And still live in it. This is the spacecraft. This is this is the mothership. All right. And they've got dispatchable landing craft. It's the whole thing. It's awesome. I mean, and that's what they're doing too. I mean, that's they want to be able to charge the vehicle so they can go out and visit parks and that yeah. kind of stuff. So Enterprise, they have them. a runabout. Yep. And then they have the the tractor. I mean, it's 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 awesome. We it does need having the cells on it. And, you know. So we'll have to work on designing that. So is the buyer just planning on like going off grid forever? <laughs> Their goal was to be able to boondock for a month, uh, so a month okay. at a time um, on different land that uh, they either own or they want to go to uh, to explore the country with their family. Awesome. That that is super cool. Um, anything else on this side at all? Um, you can see part of the holding tanks here. This is the custom galley tank. It's all stainless steel custom uh, tanks. So that's part of what we talked about with okay. the 400 fresh and the 400 uh, black gray and galley. We could probably go around the back here and you can see the garage. Sounds good. 
So has anybody ever put this much solar on I an RV? I think there's some that I've seen on YouTube where they got to 10,000, uh, kind of the same type of a system. Okay. Um, as far as a production unit, I think that was all DIY retro. Sure. Uh, for a production unit, this is the first one that I know of. So this is the garage uh, built for the car to go into. When we go inside, you'll see that there's a floor. Uh, right now, the, the floor is about right here. Okay. Um, because it's deployed so it looks like a bedroom um, and then to get the car in it goes up about four feet and you've got about six feet that you can go in there and that's for the electric vehicle wow we've done one like this before that was a jeep uh, okay. so a jeep wrangler so jack is this like your standard system that go on other rvs you just put four of them together so we this is our biggest standard build that we, okay. we provide um, we've never put one on on rv we've uh, done some buses and some industrial vehicles okay we've never done one this big in rv so this is the fir the biggest that i know of electrified coach in the world at the moment i mean take the power the storage uh the inverter power this i mean it's and then coupling it with the tractor trailer mm -hmm. and all the conversion it's one of a kind yeah, that, I mean, talk about ultimate backup. I mean, you've got the panels, but you've got uh, the rig itself, you yep. know, it's to... Almost five sources. So you got 110, 240, solar, the truck. And then he's got an APU on the truck. And then the well. APU on the truck. So he's got wow multiple sources to charge from. Wow. And shore power. <laughs> if you ever want to plug in, you ever want to plug this in. It's not like your RV park type RV though. <laughs> this is this is those that see the RV experiences getting off, getting away, truly going somewhere, but have all the amenities and comforts all contained in one vehicle. Uh, man, I can't wait to look inside. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, another first. Spacecraft doing another first. <laughs> another first. That's like each year, it's like what RV is going to top, you know, this year. So, uh, can you put a price on it? Will you say the price? So, this one, uh, if you would come to us and uh, design everything as it is, it'd be about 800000 That's still less than some of these Class A's. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you get the new truck with it, that's another quarter of a million. But, um, so the whole setup is uh, north of a million, but it's still a lot cheaper, like you said, than some of the Class A systems that are out here. All right, well, show me around, guys. All right, so come in here. This is the living area. We can go up front first. Uh, we've got a bedroom up there, uh, the bathroom, washer, dryer, vanity, toilet, um, and then we can come back to the kitchen, living area, and then there's another bedroom in the garage in the rear. Okay, sounds good. That quiet mini split we were talking about. Yeah, full conversation in here. Here you can see the, there's a little piece there. You can see it actually moving air. Oh, right. A little hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, normal bedroom, uh, queen size. Uh, we do anything. One of the fun things with this, a lot of people don't like making the bed. Uh, get a quick look at this. You can grab this. Bring it out, <laughs> make the bed. And that then, is great. Uh, push it back. There's some storage back there. Got a little storage up there. That's different. And then there's also some drawers at the, the front of it for, for so you can use all of the storage underneath. Uh, heated towel floor. We've got a TV on a lift here in the uh, wardrobe. Okay. And then since we're custom, that shortens the distance for the drawers. We did some shoe cubbies here, so you can store a number of pairs of shoes in there uh, to use that space to its full extent. Very nice. Is there a window behind the TV? There is a window. Okay. Yeah, natural light or get your TV. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Didn't go with a window back here then. Well, there's actually a headboard that we're going to be installing um, okay. later. And I see a cedar closet there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's standard. Even if you look here in our uh, wardrobe as well, cedar lined okay. uh, to protect everything out on the road. Oh, and it goes way back in there too.
So you don't have to leave any clothes at home, huh? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. At least you've got side windows right here uh -huh. too. So like complete blackout, yep, some boxed customers in. don't want any windows other than like the escape windows that are mandatory, but uh, and some people want lots of windows. Okay. Uh, it really depends on what the customer wants. Okay. Toilet room. Typically what they use for like a dual when they do a built-in pressure washer, they're basically just using a small side. All right. And looks like an amazing shower right yeah. here too. So tile shower, most towables, you're not going to have the tile there, so you can go in there. There's a big uh, rain uh, faucet in there, and then a complete tile sat shower. Oh, nice. After a long day of tours, that looks really nice. So open that up, and the lights turn on. So these are 5,000, each unit is rated 5,000. That is the most glam washer and dryer I think I've ever seen. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> no RV washer and dryer here, huh? <laughs> that is cool. Oh man, look at this. You can do a surgery. Gosh, Cherie would love that. 40%? So, you can so, so basically, it's just like a house. Floor. Correct. <laughs> uh, custom home, uh, whatever you want. Typically, we say anything within the parameters of regulation, imagination, budget, and physics. Wow. So, uh, and budget and physics is what usually gets people. <laughs> right. Residential fridge. And a lot of RVs are going with the residential fridge, but they don't have the power to keep them going if you're boondocking. But I take it no... No worries with this we one. Did one nope. Like we talked about, we've been running the air conditioner, the heated floors, and everything. They try to just to get into using the battery. We've been on solar all day long. Yeah. And your goal at the show here is not to plug in. We haven't been plugged in since Saturday. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, and the dishwasher on the end like that. Look at that. Oh, like a full size dishwasher. Yeah. Everything oh is full oh size. <laughs> it really is like a condo on wheels. Oh, in the back bedroom. Correct. So this is the garage. You can see the door that we had there. Again, well, we're going to have a magnetic headboard that covers that. Um, but uh, this whole floor goes up for the car underneath. Okay. So, this uh, dresser will come up and almost touch here. The floor, wow. The floor comes up and almost touches the uh, overhead here. The bed will go up and almost touch the, the overhead. And that gives you the clearance for the electric vehicle in here. So the whole floor goes up. That is awesome. I, I've seen smaller toy haulers do the lift before, like for a motorcycle or something, mm -hmm. but never an entire garage for a regular vehicle yeah that is something you, you got a, a back exit entrance right mm -hmm. here as well and so three of the units for the mini split so we've got four total so oh, four three inside okay. and then there's actually one in the basement specifically for the battery system to keep it cool if, okay if necessary you we also have a desk wow. uh, that will be underneath this we just didn't bring it to the show and oh okay it will roll out and then go up with the dresser nice the ultimate uh office on the road man mm -hmm. and, and, and on these side panels here oxygen for what <laughs> well just uh you know if you're a high altitude so you're ten thousand feet and you're cooking Thanks so much. It's nice to saturate the, ox the air with oxygen. It filters out the nitrogen and pumps the oxygen back in here. So it's like your own oxygen bar then, huh? <laughs> kind of. like that, yeah. It just helps sleep better when you're at 10,000 feet, you know. Oh, <laughs> man. So there's all these little nuggets that are kind of yeah, stuff that we put in here. No kidding. So this is like your ultimate doomsday RV. I'd say it's uh, pretty close. <laughs> okay. You know, I mean, why do you buy insurance, you know? Well, it's just like uh, having a list up is just insurance. Right. How much traveling do you plan to do? Well, this year we'll do about uh, four weeks uh, in the summer. Um, 
Once the kids are out of school, we usually go to Europe every year and we come back here and we'll spend four weeks and we'll be in South Dakota this year. Okay. And then um, probably as the kids get older, we'll start doing more and more, probably about three months a year in here around the U.S. and Canada, Alaska. Well, you'll need some big boondocking spots to fit this right, into. Right, because the, if you notice on the side of this, the garage, there's two full family rooms which are enclosed. One is for the car, the EV, the Polestar that we have, the EV car. Right. In there once it pulls out of the garage. Right. The other side is a, uh, just a sitting area, but we want to have an enclosed so that we're not exposed to, you know, bugs and flies and... You know, the Alaskan State Bird and all that stuff, you know. You have a system designed for removing your wastewater uh, and replacing right. your fresh water with the truck? Right, so on here we have 400 gallons of fresh water and, and wastewater on the trailer. However, on the truck unit we have 125 gallons of fresh water storage and wastewater, but you have the macerating pumps on the truck and a fresh water pump on the truck as well, so we can transfer the waste to the truck and the truck can go and um, dispose of the waste and we can bring back fresh water on top of our tanks so we don't have to take this trailer to, to dump or to load fresh water. Wow that that is super cool I mean that's what we're all trying to do with our pickups uh, when we're out boondocking so um, we, we have a big water bladder and then just stay blue tote yep. but uh, yep. but to have that built into the truck that's really and cool. Another thing is you know going down the road it's such a big rig that you can't sort of stop you know the kids want to go to the bathroom when they can't so right. we're putting a uh, macerating toilet in the truck. So oh, okay. With the, with the fresh water and with the wastewater tanks already there why not? So right. We don't need to stop. We can travel for six hours if you want to, and the kids can, you know, eat and eat and drink and you know, go to the bathroom and relax back there. They don't bother us so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, gosh, thank you so much for sharing your your RV with us. Uh, I mean, it's it's beautiful and and amazing. Yeah, it's blowing us away. Well, it's been a fun project the last couple of years to sort of put it together. Um, but we want to utilize as much as we can. But we don't want to skimp on, you know luxury we want to you know drive down the road with a nice two-bedroom apartment <laughs> right you know? um, and it will last for a long time because you know the the, the trailer is built on a, like a semi chassis so uh, it'll last a long time so wherever we go with it it was it's gonna it's gonna outlast us you know? right it's your forever RV it's not like right. you're gonna be no. upgrading no. anytime soon no. And the fresh water tanks are good because they're out of stainless steel 304L. And once they're passivated, those tanks should last forever. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you for all of this. Appreciate it. And now these are good too. This is sort of like the complete blackout. So yes. When you're in the, in the northern states in summer, you, you know, it's you don't notice it because it's just complete blackout. <laughs> also, we're putting a headboard here. My wife designed a special headboard material that goes on it that will cover all that so you won't even know there's a door there oh okay that just clips on magnets and it will actually be a proper headboard the only problem is this is a queen bed that's it you'd need a king headboard to cover that um uh door right so they're like customizing it for a king headboard for a queen bed <laughs> okay yeah. we're just trying to drain the power right now but it's not really working <laughs> and once the ev goes in there and we charge the ev uh it'll, it'll draw the power out Right. You're like, we need to bring some EVs in here and <laughs> drain the power. Yeah. yeah. So um, the EV is 78 kilowatt hours. And the main living area. Wow. So two small couches. They're actually twin beds, so they can fold out to uh, be beds. You got the 50 inch fireplace, 65 inch TV, uh, Bose surround sound system. Oh, wow heated tile floor so that goes throughout the entire living area uh, you got the island here with the waterfall quartz top and you got the uh, LED lighting mm -hmm. underneath there a lot of indirect lighting on top of the uh, I see slides, that slides uh, under the uh, medicine cabinet uh, the back closet is actually LED lighting and then like the uh, washer and dryer uh, just about everywhere we can, we put the LED lighting. Wow. We got a dinette here with a quartz top, booth seating, storage underneath. And then for the kitchen, we've got pantry, 
Uh, there's actually a trash compactor down on the bottom, uh, residential microwave, residential cooktop, and then a uh, uh, residential in-wall oven. So this is the com compactor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen an RV with one of those. Look at that. <laughs> cool. Those come out 100% so you can get to the very back of them if you need to. Nice. And that's one thing, I mean, soft clothes? Yep, soft clothes, doors and drawers. Okay. That is great. And this is actually a fun uh, cooktop. This is the control dial. So oh. you put it on here and you can control your system, move it to each one of the... Uh, locations to turn the system on and off wow that is so cool just kind of like a safety issue or yeah. just to keep well, it flat then you can keep it clean too right so if you've ever had the dials that are raised getting food underneath them and that kind of stuff this just moves wherever okay so pretty cool <laughs> a lot of fun wow i've never seen anything like that uh yeah i like the the black it, it's mm -hmm. it's very very classy so like we talked about, the color of the outside will be black. We have the gold, which ties into everything inside. And then the, the truck's gonna be a little bit lighter than what this gray is. Okay, wow. Reverse osmosis uh, water for the drinking water. What view doesn't look like a house in here? Yep. <laughs> so, and you guys build, you said about 10? 10, 10 a year is our goal. Units a year. So and that is super custom. Yep. I mean, that is... And, and how backed up are you right now? Two years. So okay. we're, we basically, we have our slots for two shows that we have in January and February for 25. So our next slot is March of 2025. And what kind of a deposit do you require to order something? Uh, 10,000 will hold a slot. And then we okay. do three different payments of 25% throughout the process. There's a design uh, deposit, uh, production deposit, kind of a finished deposit, and then final payments due upon completion. And the warranty? <laughs> uh, 10 years on the chassis, which is okay. crazy compared to the rest of the right. uh, industry. Lifetime on the ceiling and the roof, two years bumper to bumper. Um, if we screw up though, we stand behind our product. Um, so we'll take care of you if it's something that we didn't do right. And then uh, everything else, like the refrigerator and those have their own warranties from the manufacturer and we work to support those. Okay. And the ceiling is very unique yep. as well. So it's fiberglass. The roof is also fiberglass. So there's a lifetime warranty on both of those. I was blown away last year by what the, the rig you had here. And again, this is like beyond that. I mean, so what do you have in the, in the think tank, I guess, for what's next? <laughs> what do you want to try? Mm. <laughs> I know Jack is always thinking yeah, of something oh, new. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, apparently we need to do something with nacelles. Um, but uh, a warp drive. But uh, uh, we've got some Hollywood stuff coming up. Um, every customer just has something fun and exciting. So just different floor plans, uh, different use cases with family, kids, those kinds of things. Um, but I don't, I, I don't think there's anything that's taking this to the next level that we have uh, uh, right now in the in the hopper. Okay. But you never know. There's always people that have ideas here at the show, um, and then we get uh, contacted all the time by customers that have dreams that they want us to bring to life. So literally, if no no idea is too crazy that you won't at least consider if you can legally make it. <laughs> yep. And you know, customer can pay for it, and it's physically possible. Those are the big things. Okay. What's been your most expensive RV? What price uh, tag? This one here. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. We did another one that we sent to Saudi Arabia uh, a couple of years ago that in today's dollars probably would be more expensive. Um, but uh, uh, no, this, this pretty much has just about anything you can do on a trailer. You guys are based out of where now? Uh, just east of Kansas City. So they can come and tour the factory, Absolutely. I assume? That's a, a great place. Uh, 
it's, it's hard sometimes to get the quality even from a video. Um, right. But uh, coming to a show and seeing it, coming to the factory and seeing how we do things, uh, there's a lot of stuff within the entire process that we really can't even show in a finished product that it's really good to see how it's made. Well, thanks again, guys. Jack from Volta Systems here, and then Greg from Spacecraft Manufacturing. Uh, I mean, I love what you guys are doing. Different things, amazing things, getting away from all the, the usual RV stuff. Yep, it's great so. that we have vendors like Volta that can help us out and allow us to do things that have never been done before. So we really enjoy all the vendors that work with that, us. That is awesome. I think that's the most fun. Is uh, the ability of we're driving change in the market and we're doing it with the traditional American spirit of small town America building amazing things. Mm -hmm. Almost all of this is U.S. design built. Absolutely. Volta's in Holland, Michigan. Uh, we talked before. We build everything we can there. Um, integrate and support it in one place. I mean, it's, and then you see these amazing pieces of art that people are going to live and enjoy in. I mean, yeah, you can have a million dollar house, but now you have, I and mean, this has got everything and you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's pretty amazing we get to do this. Uh, Absolutely, it's fun. Super kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, we, are, are, like, uh, we get stressed out, but this is pretty cool stuff. <laughs> for more great RV tours, you can click on this playlist right over here for brand new RVs that are awesome. Or you can click on this playlist right over here for RVers that have really cool upgraded RVs and inspirational stories.